hi lovely people welcome back to my channel really creativity let's do this quick zara cap using one yard so today i'm going to cut my one yard here with you okay since some of you have trust issue with the measurement so this one is like four years okay so actually the ankara always come six years when you buy it it's six years they even have 12 years okay so how many depends on how many years you want and then they will cut it for you so this one was six years and i and i've already used two years out of it so today i'm going to cut one yard for you to see so this is how it's like here is the width and then the length continues like this okay uh -huh. so when you are going to cut for you they are going to start cutting from the length side here's the width side and here's the length so they'll start cutting or measuring it for you from the for the at the length side yes they'll start measuring it from the length side for you so here's the length side so one yard is 36 inch okay so one yard see 36 all right and then they'll fold it like this and then they'll cut it okay so I'm going to cut it out so this one I'm not going to sew the edges all right so here's my one yard Here is the width, see, 36 inch, 36 inch, okay. So let's say because of uh, the edges, the way that the thing is coming out, I have to sew it in. I have, I, when I sew it in like this and then fold the side also in like that, I won't have 36 inch anymore. I may have something like 34 inch, okay? So normally when I give measurements and I'm using this and I say one yard, it's one yard because I know some of you have to sew it to avoid uh, destroying your fabric, okay? So it's one yard we are going to use. All right, hope you've gotten it now. I hope you've understood the measurements now. I'm doing this because I got a comment recently and the person was like, no, you are not using one yard. You are using, uh, how do you call it? You are using two yards instead, which is not true. I won't lie for anything. All right, so let's get into the tutorial. So I'm going to use this card, okay? This is a, a carton or a box that I cut it to my head size. So please measure your head size, okay? But don't let it go all around. Let it be somewhere here, all right? Like mine. But the width, that one, you have to take the width. I'm using, I'm using two and a half for this. This, the width is two and a half. And this is about 20 inch, 20 inch for the length, 20 inch. And this is two and a half okay so depending for the length depending on your head size you have to go but make sure it's not meeting okay let it be somewhere here okay let it meet like this because it's going to sit on your head all right so let's get into the tutorial i just want to explain this so that you understand it very well so i'm going i'm going to take it from the length side okay the length side so I'll place it in the middle like this and then fold, okay? Fold as many times as you want because you know it's very long. I mean, from here to here, it's very long. So keep folding till you have something cute. So for me, I think like this, like this, it's okay. I mean, from here, from here to here, the, the, the length is okay for me or the width is okay for me. So I'll just come in like this. And 
and then put it bring it together to my back very simple easy zara cap so you just use your hand to create some kind of hole inside it like this okay and then we will bring it to the back and then give it a twist okay we are going to cross it like this and then create some cute simple twist at the back so let's twist this one first and then we are going to take it around whilst I'm holding this I'll take it around And then tuck it in here and then I'll take this one from the top here twist whilst I'm securing the twist that I've done the first one and then I'll take this one to the side okay and then take it around keep twisting very simple so this one is beginners friendly okay don't stress yourself at all and then i'll bring it here okay to come somewhere here i don't know whether you can see it and then i'll tuck it in here or oh, i'll tuck it in here <laughs> i hope you can see it okay like this and then you just press it press it like this I think I have to tuck it in again I'll take it here rather so at this point you create something cute at the back like this remember you are using just one yard okay so you have in anything bigger so at this point this is another way you can wrap this okay and then you have your simple zara cap all right so let me show you another way. okay so another way you are going to create flower at the back some cute flower at the back so i will put everything now like this together and then i'll use my band here's the band you see i chose the color that really matches with the fabric so that it will camouflage it for me all right so let's do it so i'm going to fold like tie it together like this with a band I'll stretch it out so that I'll have tight so that it can tighten my head for me okay so that's why I'm stretching it out like this I have done so many Zara cap on my channel so you keep going all right so this I'll bring it in front so that we can see how we create the flower very simple way okay so I'll open this side just one side like this like see how I'm doing it and then we fold it in you see like this so this one I will keep it and then take this one round because I don't want a bigger okay so I want something cute I don't want to create a bigger flower at the back so I'm using just this one so remember we fold it into two like this and then I'll bring it together like this you see you see how cute our flower looks <laughs> 
every day I have techniques for Zara caps okay so let's keep going stretch it up and then I'll bring this one right here and then I'll pin it together so I'm going to use office pin to join it together from the back okay from the back like this all right see this one is ready so now this one we are we can just take it like this okay and then let it rest inside it okay let's give it a house and then we will just put it on back yay <laughs> and then we have our flower at the back very easy i'm doing this for beginners okay beginners friendly please keep practicing okay in case you find this one also difficult remember the key is to practice so you see we have a nice flower at the back yes yeah, so you can raise it up like this Okay, you can let it fall like this. You can also let it raise it up. And then you have a nice flower, simple Zara cap. Keep pressing, okay, keep pressing. Okay, I want to show you every angle of this Sarah cap. All right, so this is another, this is the, uh, the second way you can wrap this with one yard Ankara fabric. Let's do another style. Okay, so you see, you can even do this uh, and put it aside. And anytime you are ready to go out, you just take it and you put it on. If you don't want to stress yourself the day that you are going for an event, or out in you can do it a day like this you know and then you put it aside and it's ready so let's do the next one so I'm going to take everything off so I've taken everything out so now I'm coming I'll go like this for the third style I'll go in like this and then now Remember the first one, uh, the first and the second, the twist one and the flower at the back, we started from the middle at the length side, okay? So in the middle, it's like when you place it in the middle, you make sure this side and this side are equally divided, okay? That's what I mean. But this time we are coming here close to the edge, okay? And then we'll keep folding just the way we did for the first and second okay all right I think the first one so let's keep going so you see we have more with here from here to here so I'm going to fold more in and I think this length for me is okay and then I'll put it on my head like this Okay, and then we will squeeze or fold, okay, and then this one will come in like this, and this one we will take it round like this, okay. And then I'll use my hand to support it this way and try to see whether I can get some pleats. I'll fold it like this. Yeah. 
and then I'll bring it right here. I'll leave my hand now. And then fold. And I'll twist it like this and then tuck it in here. Voila, and then we have something cute, Voila. and then we have something very cute, okay. And here's the back. okay so we could have done some twists also you can if your fabric is a bit like one and a half yard you can also do some twists you know hey but wait hold on this is also amazing wait i can just twist this part also and then tuck it in and then we have another style <laughs> look at this this is also cute mm. yeah so imagine we can also twist you can also twist from here if your fabric is long we can also twist but the length is very if the fabric is not that long we can't twist to the end so like one and a half yard would do but just one yard you can only reach somewhere here so here yeah, you can also do it like this and then when you get here, just pin it and then that's all. <laughs> Let me pin it and then we'll see. Alright, so we, we are almost done with today's tutorial. We are done. If you love all that we've done today, you like the teachings today too, let me know under the comment section. You know I always want your feedbacks on all that I do. Yes, I always want your feedback. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you love the teachings today as well. Remember to share the channels. Let's get more people into the house. Okay, okay. <laughs> so this is it. Okay, you can also do it halfway like this. It's not bad. What do you think? Let me know that under the comment section. This is a very simple, simple way you can do your Zara cap. Okay, as a beginner. All right. show you all around is the back see the back is looking neat with just one yard all right so thanks for watching thanks for your time today as well thanks for being in my class today and see you in my next head wrap don't forget to subscribe hit on the notification bell so that you always get to see my videos you get you always get alert anytime i post thank you love you all bye bye yeah <laughs>